Hi, and welcome back to Fembot IT. I'm Jolie, and today I wanted to do a quick video on how I prepared and passed the AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and sub if you loved it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, and let's break down how to study and prepare for the AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam in five steps. So the first step, step number one, is to find your training. Of course, I'm going to recommend Tia Williams' AWS Advanced Networking Specialty course at linuxacademy.com. This is the course that I used, and this course really helped me. I ran through this course twice, including all of the labs and the practice exam I took multiple times. And we can scroll through really quickly so you get a good idea of what all Tia covers throughout this course. It's a long course, but it's filled with information, and it's really going to help you if you get through this course to study and prepare. Okay, so step number two is to get smart. So get smart on all things networking, especially subnetting. I saw at least six questions on my certification exam that dealt with subnetting. And in this course, T recommends a binary game from the Cisco Learning Network. You do have to create an account to be able to access it. It's actually called the binary game, but it's definitely worth it. Now, we also need to get smart on routing. So all the key fundamentals, you have to know BGP, autonomous systems, IBGP, eBGP, etc. Make sure you're comfortable with all the key fundamentals of routing and make sure to remember to know how to influence your path selection. So we also need to get smart on designs and implementations. So this exam, at least my exam, was very scenario focused and Tia's course actually runs through multiple scenarios. So it's really awesome while you're going through the course, she's helping you prepare. Also remember to include hybrid scenarios and don't forget to understand how to troubleshoot these as well. And then lastly, we need to get smart on VPCs, VPNs, direct connect, peering, transit gateways, endpoints, ENIs, DNS, you have to know your requirements and you have to know AWS specific network requirements. And also you have to know how to configure network integration with application services. And don't forget to cover your network security too. You have to make sure you know how to secure your network because you will see one or two questions as well on your exam dealing with security. Step number three is to deep dive. Take a really deep dive into your weak areas because you are going to see those weak areas in your exam. And feel free to reach out to me if you're struggling and I can pass along resources that can help you get over that hump. Step four is to join our Slack community. So let's go quickly and let's check that out. So if you go up to community and hit Slack, our Slack community is filled with information. I learn every day from this community, every single day. If you're not already part of our Slack community, feel free to join at linuxacademycommunity.slack.com. And step number five is to go ahead and schedule that exam. Once scheduled and you have that deadline approaching, you're going to be motivated to study and prepare to ace that exam. So that's it. The five steps I used to pass the AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam now for me, this was a really tough exam. I'd been studying for certification exams for a good solid two months before I decided to take this one as well. And for me, this was one of the hardest because I'm not great at networking. I still consider myself a newbie. But I will give you an extra tip that I most likely answered wrong, but being a newbie, I had never heard of Q2Q tunneling. So that's my tip. If you don't know what Q2Q tunneling is, you probably want to go check that out and get smart on that as well. So thanks so much for coming by. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.